And you know, there was, not, there was no single day when Russia was transformed from democracy to an authoritarian uh, regime. Sometimes, or very often, in fact, in history, we know this is done through a coup d'etat or through some sort of, of a you know, one-time one act. Putin did this incrementally. Uh, you know, following on Mussolini's advice, that famous phrase of Mussolini, you need to pluck the chicken feather by feather mm. to lessen the squawking, as Mussolini described his own consolidation of power in fascist Italy in the early 1920s. This is the way Putin did this, one by one. He first went after independent media uh, and shut down uh, national television channels that were beyond the control of the state. And it was, in fact, in 2003 when the last privately held independent nationwide television network in Russia was switched off by the government. This was, this was in June of 2003. In October of 2003, uh, one of Putin's most prominent critics, an, an oil tycoon by the name of Mikhail Khodorkovsky, was arrested in a dramatic early dawn raid on his private plane uh, in, in Siberia, brought back to Moscow and paraded on television cameras, literally sitting in a cage in a courtroom, the richest man in Russia sitting in a cage, in a message to the rest of the country's business community that if you behave like him, you're going to end up like this. And that message was certainly heated. And then, fast forwarding December of 2003, a turning point election, the first election since the end of Soviet rule in Russia that was assessed by international observers as not fair.